It's calf pickup day, meat pickup day. <sighs> Luckily my kid, my son, got up and went with his dad and a couple other guys at 3.30 this morning. It's almost eight and they should be back. And hopefully people are here to get their meats. Subscribers of all the meat this year. A lot of meat. <laughs> How'd it go, buddy? Good. Don't have any problems? No. Bonnie gets that extra last time long. When I was, when I was faster than you lost. <laughs> Do you want to rest? Good. Well, that's done. Don't have to feed those calves anymore. Now we just feed ourselves. <laughs> Yay! Full again. Soup bones coming out the yin yang. Do y'all do anything with soup bones? I'm gonna try to start making more broth instead of just giving them to the dogs. <laughs> but it feels good to have a freezer full again. Until next year. Butter in a pan is always the start of something good. <laughs> My favorite things to make when I need a dish or dessert to take somewhere and I don't have much time is a dump cake. Dump cake, y'all, it's so easy. Stick of butter. Usually I just use blueberry. Obviously the stuff's out of a can, so yeah, this is what you would definitely call semi-homemade <laughs> blueberry pie filling. I'm going to also add apples because I have it in pineapple, crushed pineapple, and a box of yellow cake mix. And holy wow, it's amazing. And that's all, that's all she wrote. I'm making a mess, but still. So off you wrote, put it in the oven until it's brown and bubbly. And voila, voila, you got dessert. It's really good with ice cream or Cool Whip. I'm also boiling soup bones to make broth because this bag got punctured. <laughs> I needed to do something with them. So, hmm. it'll be a good base for soup or something. We'll see. I'll find something to do with it. This is a big pot of rabbit stew, and this is what's left. I think it's better than Bike shopping in Walmart because the kid needs a bike. So, I know you can't see me. I haven't recorded much today, but it's been a busy day from meat delivery or pick up to a rabbit stew. I should have recorded more there, but I was too busy eating and talking to my friend. And then to Walmart where my son bought his own bike. He needed a bike. The flea market bike just wasn't cutting it anymore. And now, <laughs> now they are racing. My daughter is riding 
Papa's old three-wheel bike. Okay. And they're racing. And she hasn't learned to ride a regular bike yet. It's just, she just hasn't. She's She doesn't want to, but she's riding this bike. So she has a helmet and pads and everything on. <laughs> okay. Where you at? Whoop. Whoa, kid. Wowzer, trouser. You're really breaking in that new bike. You like your new bike, huh? Yes. I'm proud of you for buying it. That's awesome. Spent a hundred dollars of your well-earned money. It's great. Corn money. Corn money. Oh yeah, it was money from bagging corn. Awesome. That's awesome. Sweet. Good old farming enterprise there. We don't have a checkered flag. We gotta pretend like she's wearing the checkered flag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, show me what you got. We don't. <laughs> Woo! Very good. That's some pretty awesome stuff you got on there. <laughs> Are you happy? Are you having fun? Can you not tell it? Yeah, I can tell it. <laughs> I like that smile. And it's raining again. <laughs> and I'm in the truck because I didn't know that I might need to be outside. And so I didn't have my raincoat, which is fine. I'm not going to melt. I'm definitely not going to melt. I might float, but I'm not going to melt. But he's fixing a tire on the tractor. So I was transportation. So he was bush hogging some stubble today and <laughs> never fails. It's kind of like uh, horses and cows if they're going to find something. If there's like one thing in a field or on a fence post that could hurt them, they're going to find it. So in this one big field, there was one little tiny deer antler shed and of course the tire found it. So. That's the way it goes, or blows, or whatever. Let's see. I want to see the little culprit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this little who nanny caused so much trouble. I told him we should have had the kids out here this weekend. The weather was nice. They should have been out here running around. Looking for sheds. That would have been smart. Oh well. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, that was a rather quick little fix. Well, actually, no. He's been working on it for a couple hours. <laughs> oh, I can't see. I, can't see. I just gotta go by feel. And. If it goes forward, then I guess we're good, right? Very good. All's well that ends well. But it can stop raining anytime. That would be good. We actually had a really awesome weekend. Good weather. This door won't shut. You know what also is hard? It's hard to shut a door that doesn't have a door handle. They're important for such things. So now I'm waiting on him to get back. I thought I saw him. He told me not to go behind him, to go in front of him. But I hope nothing blew up. <laughs> oh. So, I don't know. I've been thinking. I remember sitting in this same spot just several months ago in my own truck not in this truck but I think I was in my truck anyway I was sitting in the same spot and I was telling y'all thank you for following along at that time I had just hit a thousand subscribers which like blew my mind and I've just now reached 5,000 subscribers which has doubly triply that's not a word but it is now triply blew my mind I can't even believe it. 
what it's really cool and I've come to love the comments there he is from my vlogs as much as doing the vlogs it's like a whole nother little family I'm I really love the YouTube platform and the people I've gotten to meet online and those of you that encourage me and inspire me to just keep sharing so as long as you're watching I'll keep sharing I do this more for me than anything it's kind of like a running diary I hope my kids can look back one day and appreciate it maybe I don't know my goal is also to encourage and inspire other people just I just think it's good the more we can share the good the bad and the ugly so people just know that they're not alone and that even though we're all different places doing different things, whether it's farming or not farming or being parents or not parents, just doing life, that we're all in this together. And we all need each other. And everybody's story is important. So, that's all. I just want to say thank you. Really, thank you. It's super fun. Super cool. We'll see. We'll see what happens this year. Maybe I'll actually get to use that gleaner if it stops raining. <laughs> All right. Catch you next time.